Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to be talking about how you can get your ZBrush uh, model into Facebook or how you can load it into Facebook. And this is becoming a trending topic, something a lot of people are talking about. And, you know, I would like you guys to know how you can get this amazing stuff that you've taken your time to sculpt in ZBrush, how you can load it directly into Facebook, you know, and share it with everyone that you love so that they can see it. All right. So I have uh, a frog master something that i've worked on a very long time ago i think two years or three years ago and this is actually an art from a guy called bobby chu i think and i'm just going to go ahead and show you how you can get this piece directly to facebook so what you would need to do is you need to make sure first of all you need to make sure that you have your model done and ready to go then the next thing you need to make sure that you have the appropriate size so for you to fix that you need to go over to document and within this part, I would like to have uh, mine to be more like a square. So I will just simply turn this off so I, I don't constrain the proportion. And I might just choose to make this uh, 1024 by 1024. All right. And so once you're done, you're going to hit resize. It's going to ask you a couple of things and you say yes. So now you've resized your workspace. And I'm going to go ahead with this selected. I'm just going to go ahead and redraw this directly here. And so once it's done, I'll position this how I would like it to be. And say maybe I want this to be like this. All right. So we like our frog looking at us in this mode. All right. Another reason why I'm making this like this is because you actually need two things. You need the image and you also need a Z depth. Okay. And ZBrush is amazing because you can get your Z depth directly from there right so what we're going to do now is just go ahead and render this out so i'm going to click on render anti-aliasing i'm going to just go back and directly under here where i have the anti-aliasing i would like to make more samples so maybe a sample of four will be fine just to make sure that i have a clean uh edge all right so once i'm done with that i'll come back here and just simply hit the bpr okay so once you hit BPR, it's going to go ahead and render this. So if you have subsurface, all of those things, it's going to go ahead and render this. You might not necessarily need all those passes. We only need two passes for this, which the first one is the main image. And then the second one is the Z depth, right? So we have this, all right? So we have this. If you want to change all of these shadows and stuff, you can go ahead and change those stuff. But for this video, we have this here. So I'm going to go ahead, go to where I have render. And within the render, you can see I have this render pass. I would like to save one of them. So I'm going to come through and save this. But instead of saving this as a PSD, I would like to save it as a PNG. And I'm going to call it Froggy. All right? Because we already have a folder called Froggy. Okay? So I'm going to save this as Froggy. It doesn't matter if you have a folder. I'm going to save it as Froggy. Then the next thing which I'm going to do is go over to render. Go back to the depth. Now, this is very, very important, right? So what is important here is you need to give exactly the same name, but with an underscore and name it as depth. You need to give this name, right? So you definitely need to save it as froggy underscore depth. And as well, it needs to be a PNG file. So now we cannot find a PNG. What we can do is we can go ahead and save this as a bitmap or maybe as a thief, but I'm going to save it as a bitmap because I know a lot of people don't have Photoshop on their PC, so we don't need to do that. So I'm going to save this as a bitmap, okay? So now I've saved this as a bitmap. What I'm going to do next is to go ahead and launch Paint. All right, so with Paint launched, so we have Paint here. So with Paint launched, what we can do is to go over to File, go over to Open, and then we're going to just simply select that bitmap file, okay? So once you open up the bitmap file, the next thing which we'll do is to go over to file and we'll have to resave this. So I'm going to save this as a PNG and as froggy underscore depth dot PNG. Now for the font part. So now once you have this saved out, what we're going to do next is to make sure we have Facebook open. So I'm just going to throw in a Facebook here. And so if you have Facebook open, I'm going to go over and click on photo. Okay. And Facebook will ask me to actually load up the images which I want. Then I'll go ahead and load up the first image and then the second one, all right, and hit open. So if everything is done correctly, Facebook will calculate this and convert this into a 3D object. And once that is done, you would notice that now 
you now have this object directly here as a 3d object you can see you can move around and see uh and see your model right so if you're noticing we have some facets going on here it's because we couldn't get a proper z depth for this part okay so if you want to get a proper z depth you need to go ahead and go to zbrush and make some tweaks with the lighting and you know make sure that all of these are done properly and once this is done and once you're done with whatever you want you can simply uh, publish this and then you'll be able to have this loaded directly on your Facebook and this is how you can get your ZBrush model directly into Facebook I would like to know what you guys think about this do you love something like this would you try it tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below and if you want me to make more videos about how you can do this in different apps I'll also like to know about those things in the comment section below and until I see you guys next time with a tutorial review free Friday tips and tricks things like this Peace.